In this video, I'm going to talk about why I got this tripod and the factors that help make that decision and hopefully help you decide if you should get this tripod as well. So if you're planning to buy a tripod to make your TikTok videos, then there are a couple of things that you should consider. Firstly, are your videos going to be indoors or outdoors? If you're aiming to do videos outside, then portability is the first thing that you have to consider when buying a tripod. This is coming from experience. I got this tripod and light ring from AliExpress. This tripod can be extended to a maximum height of 2 meters and can be folded back into a shaft of 60 cm, which is roughly 24 inch. And then it can be kept into this bag, which makes it easy to carry around. And sure, you can find so many other products out there that are smaller, more portable, but there are some things that you just have to consider. Is it durable? Is it wind resistant? How long can it last? I've been using this for about a year now. I've sat on it, crushed it, leaned against it, dropped it, and it still works fine. And because it's supported by its tripod legs, it is super stable even on the windiest day. Next, you also have to consider the simplicity of the design. I love how easy to use and set up this tripod and then how easy it is to keep it back. So let's talk about the design starting from the top to the bottom. On the top, you have a slot that allows you to use any compatible fixtures you want with this. So you can either pair it up with a light ring or just a simple phone rig. This tripod comes with this really simple and old school phone clip. And the reason why I like this is because it's really simple to use. It has a resistant mechanism where you slot your phone in the middle, you release it, it just clamps the phone together. And it's so tight that it really is quite difficult sometimes to put your phone in. But once it's secured, look at how steady it is. Simple is the best. These days, the newer models have those that are magnetic. And I don't really trust magnetic ones because uh, it really depends on how good the magnet is, how long can the magnet last. And sometimes if someone accidentally bumps the phone from the back, the magnet will dislocate. But this, as you can see, doesn't flinch. Plus, if it's using a magnetic system, sometimes you have to worry about the weight of your phone because the strength of the magnet will determine how heavy your phone can be. So this has no limitations to it. This knob here also allows you to adjust the angle of your phone, giving you the option of shooting your videos in landscape or portrait. Then as we move down, there is this lever that allows you to adjust the vertical angle of the tripod and it allows it to go to a maximum angle of 90 degrees, which is perfect for those kind of videos where it requires you to have a camera that gives you a top-down view. Those kind of cooking videos, drawing videos, any videos that you require to have the camera on top, which makes this super important because you have to consider the angle of which that you'll be shooting your TikTok video. And this allows you to go to a full 180 degrees. Amazing. Then we have this knob that allows you to change the horizontal direction of your tripod, aka where you want it to face. So imagine a situation where you're in a very tight kitchen where all you have is this space and you really need your camera to face that angle. This is where this knob comes into play. You can put your tripod in anywhere of the room and you can turn it using this knob. And so because of this magical knob, space limitation is not an issue. And finally, the way to adjust the height of this tripod, you have two ways. First is by using this lever here. And secondly, you can adjust it using the clippers on the legs. First, let's look at the lever. This turning lever allows you to adjust the height from the middle without requiring additional space on the bottom. And I'll explain to you in a minute. Simply by turning this knob, the tripod can adjust to go up or down. Now, the other way to adjust the height of this tripod is to unlock the clip and allow the legs to extend. But this is pretty problematic if you have a limited space. So if you can imagine when the tripod legs go at its maximum reach, the radius on the bottom flares out quite a bit. So the taller you make your tripod, the more space is required on the bottom. The ends are flexible so it can balance on any uneven surfaces pretty easily. And also it comes with rubber capping, so it's slip resistant. I also got a light ring to pair up with this tripod because sometimes I just want to film at night or in my room where the lights are pretty dim and this solves the problem if you're in a situation with bad lighting. It's a 26 diameter light ring and it has three light settings, white, warm, and natural light. The light ring is super important if you're planning to do videos like cooking or drawing where it requires a focus on a particular object. You can see in this example, the words ain't very clear and there's quite a bit of noise on the surrounding. But once I turn on the lights, super clear. You can adjust the color and the intensity of the light using this remote control here. And this light ring can be connected to any USB port 
which makes it super compatible with anything. You'll be surprised to know that this tripod weighs below a kilogram. So if you're interested to get this tripod and light ring, I've left the links down in the description box. I've also added a couple of links to other tripods that I personally feel it's not too bad, just in case you wanted something simpler or easier. And that's it for this video guys. If you've enjoyed it, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I usually do videos about travel, eating and living abroad. So once again guys, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and stay so thirsty.